Okay, now for the design on top, we I have two pieces cut out here. This is what you're going to be using to form the roll on top of the of the turban. So I have 40 inches length into two. 40 inches length into two by the width of the ashoki. And the width of the ashoki is six and a half. Or let me say six and three quarter. So what that is what I did there. I just folded the one the two edges like this and this second edge. So I fold them in the wrong side to the wrong side and I sew straight. Please don't mind me. Fold them to the wrong side and just sew straight, just like I did here. So these are the two pieces we'll be using for making the row. And again, we're going to be inserting our wording inside them. You can insert your foam, you can insert your wording, your fiber, any of this material. Here's the wording I'm going to insert inside the, piece, the two pieces. I have like 10 or 11 inches here. So it determines on it determines what you want to do, how puffy you want your roll to be on the top of your turban. So if you want a point there where you can increase, and this one is soft one, but it's thicker than a normal soft one. And I can't call it the thick one. Yeah, because sometimes it is like that. Sometimes you can have your you can put your foam, you can put your wording, you can put your fiber inside it. You can increase if you are using wording, you can increase the length of the wording so that it can make it puffy. So it all depends on what you want to use. And the the length the width of the fabric I use there, just like I said, six and quarter. If it is fabric material like rustic, you want to use rustic satin, you can increase it to eleven inches. I'll talk about this during the class. I hope you can see what I'm doing to insert the wording inside the actual key. With the help of the safety pin, I'll pull it out through. With the help of the safety pin. Now, after you have inserted the word in this side, just close one, the two ends, this side and this other side, close them up, close them up, just like this. And when you close them up, if there is any excess word in here, try to trim everything. I don't want anything to be seen outside. And you can use your needle and tray to tag the remaining one so that it can be well closed. Hope you understand. Let me see this. So when you put start your wording, don't let it reach the other side. But it's the other side you are going to fix to the back of your turban. So that means we cut out 40 inches for the material, the fabric. By the time you are cutting out your wording, cut out 38 inches, two minus two inches. So now we'll be placing it. Had it been this is not a shocky, not too bulky at this side, I would have placed it before I close of the two i would have attached it attached them before i close up the band they would have been like this inside if it is material that is what you should do you just raise it up like one inch away from the band at the end of the band here then fix it inside do you understand but since this is a, is a uh i show can it will be too bulky at the back for us to close it up with our sewing machine in fact if not because i'm using industrial machine my sewing machine will not be able to go on this so um now this is how you're going to do it one will be at the right side and the one will be at the left side so the one the other side, just make sure this part is closed make sure it is closed like the closed part must not be seen outside that means if you are facing this one to the left or anyhow you just look at what i'm doing please it is down already and the weather is getting some out it's doing some out <laughs> so like you place it like this, then now it's at this side though, not at this side, like this. They fold it in. You can now use your sewing machine and uh, your hand needle because your sewing machine will not go on it if you're using this. Uh, actually, okay, you can use your hand needle to sew it like that. So this one will go to the front, and this other one do with you will do it at this and the same way. Do like this, then fold it in and use the needle and thread to sew. So it will come like this. Then you can take it to the front to form anything you want. 
Oh, wait, no. So we're going to take one of these. I'll show you about some sheets of paper. I'll just make sure you are careful here. You need to leave about one and a half inch or one inch so that you can see where to tie your handle before you tuck this. Leave one and a half or one inch. So now I'm going to twist like that to the front. Just do it in a way that is very okay to the back like this do it to the back like that let me first seal this one that's my fabric and you push this the one you have done to the back so that this one can come to the front you push it to the back so that that one can come to the front and cross it at the center. So this one must come. You just as if you are rolling it. And when you roll it, make sure you roll it very well so that where you sew at the center here must not be seen outside. So you tuck, you just twist and twist very well. Not very well, not too tight. So that it won't deform what you want. It's not that we are twisting like that. I don't know how I can put it. So we are just going to cross it at the center. You take it to the back at the center here. So here is what I'm going to do. The one I first put on it, I used to cross it with top here somewhere here where this started it stopped so i'll cut how this essays and the one that i first did i will also cut it here so that i can i will stop it here so i can attach it to this room i don't know maybe you are getting what i'm trying to say let me first secure this this is my pin so let me you make sure just make sure everything is well okay balance the way you want it to be before you cut any excess before you cut any excess out so i'm just trying to make sure everything is okay because the woman that holds this thing <laughs> a fire fire <laughs> they don't make it the way you want she wanted she will fire you <laughs> all right so let me just take it off the camera please and work on it just take it the way i ask you to do it i mean just do it the way i ask you to do it so i'll just cut out the sscc here So I cut out this one and I tuck it to this page just like I said. So for this other one, I still left it, leave it like that. I will cut it out, but I want to secure everything I have done. So before I secure out it to the normal turban, to the auto gray or any one, I will make sure I tie these two. You know, there are two this thing on it on each other. I'll just make sure I secure them together. Sorry, there's no any special way to secure this thing. Because it's possible I do them off the camera. But when you are attacking, just tack it in a invisible way.
So if there is any way you can do it, you can pack it to the turban or to the base. I want to leave that thread. Let me work with another thread. So for this video not to be too long, let me just go off the camera to perform all the miracles I want to perform. There is a mistake there. I have to use it. The thread is coming out. All right, now I've tucked everything. So for the essence here, I'm going to cut it out and also trim out the wording, just like I did at the other side. Then I will tore it in here and tuck it. Okay, I forgot to say something. The one I bring on top, I bought on top, or any, <laughs> I bring or I bought on top, I inserted inside this one. Inside, that is why I was able to come out from this end. You can say, I thought I displayed that the other time. I show it in the video. So I would just trim out this excess and tore in. So, for okay, maybe next time you want to, or when you want to cut out your own, you might not cut out up to 40 inches. Let me say 35 inches to be okay for you, unless you want to form different style entirely from what I did now. So I will cut out this and throw it in and tack it, and that is all for our turban. I hope you love it. So just be creative with whatever you want to create. Just be creative.